hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so today's video we are doing our second and final cash stuffing for the month of june this week we are stuffing 197 dollars this is probably the lowest amount i've ever stuffed um since i've started my cash budgeting journey and honestly a part of me when i saw that i had to only budget or only had 197 dollars to work with i was like bro what the fuck happened to all my money but then I realized, you know, you've been using your credit card a lot more, you know, you've bought some furniture recently, like you got to pay those things off. So obviously, because you've treated yourself and took care of business, you're going to have more things that you are going to need to pay for. So I just wanted to say that last week, I did not even empty my wallet, but this week we will. As I mentioned in my last cash stuffing video, I'm not going to be stuffing cash directly. I'm just going to give myself like $100 in cash every pay period. These are my receipts. Going to scan those into Fetch Rewards. Um, my Fetch code will be down below. But yeah, as I was saying, I decided to only give myself $100 cash and then just use my card for everything else. And so far, it's been working a little bit. Like, I actually don't really spend that much money. Look at that change jar. She is full. But yeah, I actually really don't spend that much money, especially if I have cash on me. I will do anything I possibly can to avoid it. I'm trying to close the door. Alright, so we have $22 left over. This 20 will go over into our rollover folder and or envelope. And these two ones will go into our $1 savings challenge when we get to that. Starting off with my sinking funds. As you guys know, I did some real damage at Ulta. And I guess the damage will be, continue to be done because Michaela Nogwarian, Nogwaria, I really hope I said her last name right. But y'all know who I'm talking about. Michaela J on TikTok. The beauty guru who says, what's poppin'? You know, she's from Massachusetts, all that good stuff. She's coming out with a glam light collaboration, her part two of her glam light collaboration in like a week. And I know I don't have, I do have the money for it. I'm just like, sis, I didn't save for this. So now I'm going to have to pull out of my rollover and my savings for this. But um, I'm okay with it because I missed out on the first part of the collaboration and i was like nah i gotta get part two anyways starting off with the cash stuffing we have fashion and fashion is getting 25 dollars today i'm gonna try my real dang hardest to not hit my stand today let's see if we can avoid hitting the stand in this cash stuffing because that would be amazing if we did that all right so fashion now has 20 40 60 80 90, 100, 110, 115, 120, 125, 130, 135, 136, 137, 138, 139. Girl, we should go shopping. But no, I honestly want to get this like 200 before I'm like, okay, let's get a new wardrobe. Also, with Plato's Closet not accepting donations, I'm like, well, there goes the money I thought I was going to make. So, deuces. All right, Gifts is getting $10 this week. Um, So my dad didn't want anything for Father's Day, which doesn't surprise me. And my grandfather, he was, he's out of town. He's currently in Togo right now. And so I was like, how am I going to buy him a gift if he's not going to get it for another month? So there's that. So Gifts did not get touched for Father's Day, but that doesn't mean there isn't a celebration around the corner. So gifts now has 50, 70, 90, 100, 110, 120, 125, 130, 135, 140, 141, 142. Honestly, shout out to dads for being low maintenance because it's so easy for me to figure out what my dad wants because he doesn't really want much. Everyone else, on the other hand, they either want too much stuff or they want something that I physically can't give them, which sucks. Holiday is getting $30 this week, even though I only was able to stuff a total of $197 this week, I wanted to make sure that 
holiday got a good chunk of it because like i said christmas is around the corner july is next week child things are moving way too fast for me i don't like it so holiday now has 20 40 60 80 100 120 140 150 160 170 175 180 181 182 183 honestly i wouldn't be surprised if i got everyone gift cards again this year that's that's just me i just find it easy get everyone like a visa or a target or amazon gift card that way they can just choose what they want their gift to be and they won't be like disappointed if i don't give it to them car maintenance is getting 15 dollars. i scheduled an oil change for monday finally because i have that week off of work and i was like let's just get it done so yeah whatever money i have in here is going to be used to pay for my oil change and then i will decide what to do with the remaining balance once that oil change is paid off so car maintenance now has 50 70 90 110 130 140 150 160 170 180 190 200 210 215 220 Oh, Jesus, stop moving. Also, I put my stand to my right side. And so far, I've noticed I've only hit it twice compared to however many times I usually hit it. So, progress. Subscriptions is getting $7 this week. Um, like I mentioned in my last cash stuffing, my stuffing amounts don't make any sense. So if you guys want a breakdown of how I decide which how much each envelope gets, let me know in the comments down below. So subscriptions now has 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. Hallelujah, my gym subscription is paid off for the year. I mean, I already took care of it with my tax return, but it doesn't hurt to get a year ahead on your subscriptions. Also, if this is wrong for subscriptions, I'm honestly not going to care. It's fine. Rollover is getting that $20 bill that was left over in my cash envelopes. And I'm not going to count this because, frankly, the amount has not changed since. And I already know what the amount is in my head. Um, let me know if you guys want a rollover update, even though there's not much in there. Eating going out is getting $15. My cousin is turning 16 on next Saturday. And he wants to go to Valley Fair. And so I would use this whatever is in this envelope to pay for my ticket as well as buy him or treat him to something while we're there plus whatever is in gifts so eating going out now has 20 40 60 70 75 80 81 82 83 84 is that right all right usually i have to go back and recount this but I think my math might be right today. Utilities household is getting $15 this week. Gotta rebulk this envelope up as well because Target be causing detrimental damage to your girl for no reason. So home now has 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65 70 75 oh wow i'm shocked actually that means i had a lot more money saved up in home than i thought i did unless no i paid that off i'm tweaking tweaker tweaker <laughs> if you know that vine you know beauty is getting 20 dollars. as you can tell the hoe is empty so she is back at a fresh start of Twenty dollars. Moving on. That is all for our sinking funds, and we are going to go to savings and debt. I don't know why I always in my head I feel like I'm five seconds ahead of real life, and that's not the case. Like, slow down, bitch. All right. 
Starting off with my credit card. That is getting $20 today. Like I said, I've done some damage to my credit card, so we got to we got to be a little bit respectful sometimes. So, credit card now has 50, 70, 80, 85. But also because of me budgeting correctly, I have no problem with having a $200 balance on my credit card. Oh, I just hit my stand. That was 3. <laughs> One dollar savings is getting the two one dollars left over for my cash envelopes. This I don't even know. This and this one is so full. I don't know why I keep putting money in here. I should just. I feel like a stripper with all these ones. Hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Like it's just a lot. I know it's less than a hundred dollars though, but. Still, if you guys want to update on this, let me know. Like, look at how it stretched out the envelope. Oh, Jesus. $5 savings is getting skipped for, like, the third week in a row. I have not had any fives left over. Something about things getting more expensive is just impacting how many small bills I have left over at the end of the pay period, which sucks. Savings is getting $30 this week and i think it is going to hit 500 in this stuffing if i remember correctly last cash stuffing i said the next time we stuff it will be at 500 so we will find out right now so savings now has 150 250 350 400 420 440 460 480 490 500, 505, 510, 515, 520. That does not sound right. We gonna count again, all right? I'm gonna speed through this. because that's... Oh yeah, all right, work. We are truly at 520. Awesome. See, that's what I'm talking about, like, when you start cash stuffing, you don't even realize how quickly you get to amounts until you get to the amount. Like, I did not think I was going to hit $500 in a matter of three months, but we did. Like, if you know, if you've been following me since the beginning, you know I started my actual cash stuffing journey back in March. So the fact that my savings envelope is at $520 in three months, I don't know if that just speaks to my budgeting or what but compared to where my savings was when I first started I am proud of myself for that and honestly I was debating getting new cash envelopes but seeing this in the camera it's so cute and I made it myself so you know that has that extra touch student loans is getting ten dollars I have decided look I am contributing less and less to student loans because I already pay off my student loans on time, the minimum amount. This is kind of just like a, at the end of the year, whatever money you have, put it towards another student loan to help pay it off faster kind of deal. So student loans now has 50, 1, 50, 2, 220, 240, 260, 280, 300, 310, 320, 330, 340, 345, 350. Not bad, not bad. I think once I get to like four hundred, I will be able. I would have been. I will be able to pay off a month's worth of all my student loans. But yeah, that is all for my savings and debt binder, and that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry that it was so low this week um hopefully the next pay period we'll have a little bit more money to cash stuff and that it will be a more interesting stuffing for you guys um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up comment down below any other videos you would like to see from me if you want more videos that are pertaining to cash budgeting or if you kind of just want to know a little bit more about me feel free to ask questions in the comments down below um i did my nails today which is why there's like polish covered in them because I did them myself. I have not gone to the nail salon since my birthday. And honestly, it's that's what's been saving me money the most is that I just do my nails on my own, which has been a true lifesaver. So yeah, if you want to see a video about how I do my nails, you can also 
comment down below and ask for that if you're new to my channel please click the subscribe button down below as well i greatly appreciate it i'm so close to reaching 100 subscribers and even reaching 100 subscribers would mean the world to me because i've been doing youtube for about seven years on and off and this year i've been really taking it seriously trying to be more consistent trying to post more content trying to film more content so i hope i'm doing you guys justice and that you guys are enjoying my content and if you're not enjoying my content comment down below what kind of content you would like to see from me that you would enjoy but um yeah i truly appreciate everything and i hope you guys have a good weekend happy pride all things considered um yeah anyways love you peeps bye